All right, now it is time for a MATLAB numerical study. Um, I am sharing the code you can implement. So I am considering a time interval 0 to 20 seconds for total simulation time. Uh, for the first order Euler methods discretization, it is sampled, uh, sampling time is 0.005 seconds. Initial condition for X and reference model. W hat, um, I am initializing at zero. I am going to use um, alpha for the nominal control low here. Gamma um, for the parameter update low here, learning rate. Um, I am using a leakage term of sigma modification here. It is 0 0.2. Um, to make, basically, I choose gamma to be large, sigma on the smaller side to um, have a smaller bond on the um, <coughs> this boundedness result that we established in the previous video, uh, similar upper bond on the closed up system traje uh, trajectories. Of course, this doesn't depend only gamma and sigma. It also uh, depends on epsilon of x uh, coming from the radial basis functions. So I am going to illustrate this. This is the one of the most important part of this video. I am choosing a command like this, one minus one, one minus one. Here is the uncertainty that, of course, for simulation purposes, I wrote a structure here. I try to complicate it intentionally. It includes a disturbance type term, x to the power of two, sine multiplied by x to the power of three, cosine multiplied by x to the power of four. So it's a continuous uncertainty depending on state and um, I am going to assume I don't have I don't know that structure so that I need to use I need to construct my basis function theta using neural networks. Um, I would like to operate this system, you know, between one and minus one, but um, to ensure that x remains uh, on uh, you know one and minus one, I need to consider a larger. Um, set if I am what I'm trying to say I, I will try to operate system between one and minus one but I would like to cover a wider domain um, uh, such that X will uh, X shouldn't leave that domain you can make this as wide as possible uh, based on my personal experience if I am operating a system between one and minus one I would like to cover at least five to ten times bigger interval um, Likewise, if you are operating the system from 10 to minus 10, you need to cover minus 50 to 50 or minus 100 to 100 domain. Of course, I'm talking about single state. If you have two states, that's, you know, you need to consider uh, similarly. I haven't moved into, we haven't moved into higher dimensional systems yet. We first need to establish all these, you know, theoretical knowledge for uh, the scalar system so that we, we can more confidently, with more knowledge, we can dive into the higher order stuff. All right. Now, nominal controller, adaptive controller, more precise, a neuroadaptive controller. This is the reference model. This is the basically w hat discretized version and this is the uncertainty data recording plotting purposes i am not diving into data recording and plotting you can take you know screenshot implement for your own needs all right so for the case one i am going to cover four cases for case one i am covering minus five to five using just six radial basis functions six neurons and this is how you choose theta to be used in your neuroadaptive control signal as well as on the uh, parameter estimation law here and here. Simple, right? So you just include radial basis functions if you don't know, um, uh, if you are dealing with an unstructured uncertainty. This is how you use neural networks. However, you need to understand what will happen. Case one, I just put six neurons. Um, that one of them is originated at f uh, 5, other one is 5, 3, 3, 3. So basically pictorially, right, one of them is originated minus 5. This is minus 3, minus 1, 1, 3, and 5. I basically have 6 uh, neurons to cover 
to cover um, this set. Actually, it covers slightly more than minus five to five. It is around minus seven to seven. Case two, I am now going to add a bias term here. So how, how the code changes, first of all, W now has one more, theta has one more element, element. So this is like seven by one. This becomes one by seven. So you need to update its initial condition. It is no longer zero, six, one. It will be seven, one. So these are the two changes that you need to make. This is case two. I added a bias term, a unity bias term. I always do that in the implementations of narrow adaptive control architectures. It is good to have that term in case you have disturbances, measurement noise, and other stuff affecting like uh, winds, gusts, um, affecting your system. And in, in this case, you have a disturbance-like term here on the delta as well. Case number three, I am going to illustrate. Well, instead of using six neurons at from you know these were the previous neurons i am going to add one two three four five more so in this case you have more neurons so well, what we accept from the universal approximation theorem for neural networks radial basis functions this epsilon residual error should get smaller so the since this becomes now 12 uh, by one, the or w hat becomes also 12 by one vector. So you need to initialize it like 12. And to implement case three, you need to change this part of the code with this one. And case four, we are going to have even more neurons. Now, um, you know, we now have not only at five, four, three, two, so on and so forth. I am going to insert new neurons here and there plus the basis function. Basis function was also uh, we kept um, in case two. So case one, again, if we wrap up case one, uh, by the way, before I say that theta now becomes 22 plus uh, multiplied by one. So you need to initialize this as 22 and you need to change this code with this. To wrap up case one, we just use six neurons. Case two, we add bias term. Case three, we increase the number of neurons, keeping the bias term. Case four, we are increasing even more neurons and keeping the bias term. Now um, we are ready to discuss the simulation results. Results for case one. So this is the state, this is the reference model state, this is the control signal, and we have here, I wanted to plot delta tilde. What is delta tilde is original delta plus it is neural network approximation. So we would like to make it smaller. Now, for case one, we were just including six neurons and the close-up system performance is not great. So as you see here, we deviate. Um, and so we are, uh, if you look at the approximation, we want this W tilde to be close to as close as zero, but we are deviating a lot. So this is not a good approximation. Let's see what happens in case two when we had a bias term. When we have a bias term, we have a slightly better performance, especially, you know, this gap is uh, slightly less if you compare it with the gap. It was above uh, 1.5. Now we are around 1.5. So bias term, what I am trying to say, bias term will not necessarily save your day, but it will improve the performance as compared to the without using a bias term. Now, um, um, with the knowledge we gained from universal approximation theorem, we are going to increase more neurons. Uh, in cases three and four while keeping the bias term. So, uh, right, these are, uh, you know, we expect theoretically to achieve better performance and we indeed achieve a better performance here. Results for case three, as you see, this delta tilde getting uh, closer to the zero, this approximation is getting better, uh, neural network approximation, and you see, we are more closely now, we still have a gap, but we more closely track the reference model states. And now we are is, you know, case number four, we increase even more neurons. And this is, a, from my standpoint, this is an acceptable level of closed up system performance um, because you need to stop somewhere, right? You cannot increase uh, thousands of neurons. Um, uh, but why not? If you want to increase, you can increase, so your performance will get better. But once you reach up to a level, 
then the performance improvements that you are going to get by ins inserting more neurons will be minimal as well. Again, from an engineering standpoint, um, this is a nice uh, uh, close-up system performance. And approximation here is much better. We are basically, if I can draw a straight line, we are basically uh, approaching to zero, baking delta uh, tilde close to zero, uh, much better. Now, when you apply um, adaptive control to a real world system, of course, this delta tilde is delta minus W hat transpose theta. This is the signal that you apply, but in you know in real systems you cannot you don't know delta, so that you cannot obtain a plot like this. So um, performance uh, issue: how you ensure that you achieve an acceptable performance? You basically look at only the this part of the, you know how your states uh, shown in black line here. Uh, follows reference model states uh, is it clo as close as possible and in this video yes so i hope you learned something about neural networks basically uh, we tried to this was the third video and uh, we covered a lot uh, so please you know you can implement this digest it um, and let me know if you have any questions take care